Hey, Black. So I'm here for five drink a lot. Um, hey, guys, uh, three shots out to me. So I've been going through a lot of stuff lately, and I'm, I don't know if y'all checked out my waters down here. I don't know if y'all play it past along or y'all just received this information late. I'm pumping a lot of information. Um, and always with information like this, um, the scholars who provide the information, I also want to thank the people who do the research. I also want to thank and the, the people who kind of um, just support the whole little situation by providing as much information as they could. Like I said, some might be wrong, some might be right, some may be far-fetched, some may be close. Some might be a little right field right here, and some may be far left field over there. I um, haven't got to a shortstop yet, if y'all know this channel. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I wanted to talk about, we just talked about Osama Bin Laden in the... Uh, his letter to America. We didn't talk about him. We just read the letter to America. Um, somebody read the letter to America. Not me. I read it, but I'm reading it to y'all. Um, I want to get into uh, Malcolm X real quick. Malcolm X talked about Plymouth Rock. But that quote, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Let's go to that real quick. It's about to be 200,000, 180 people if it works out. So shouts out to the 200,000. Shouts out to the 180 out there if y'all playing passing on. I got one person hit me, asked me a couple questions, and then they, they scurried off. So, um, I don't know. Uh, let's just keep this momentum. Um, cue that music I like. Inherited sickness, I Every day I piss money away. I am a, I'm a material slave. Yeah. Trying to polish this ball in this chain. Cause I, I don't think twice. We are African and we happen to be in America. We're not American. We are people who formerly were Africans who were kidnapped and brought to America. We. Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. We were brought here against our will. We were not brought here to be made citizens. We were not brought here to enjoy the uh, constitutional gifts that they speak so beautifully about today. Because we weren't brought here to be made citizens today, now that we've become awakened to some degree and we begin to ask for those things which they say are supposedly for Americans, they look upon us with hostility and unfriendliness. If you're interested in freedom, you need some judo, you need some karate, you need all the things that will help you fight for freedom. Nationalism is the wave of the present and the future. It is nationalism that's bringing freedom to oppressed people all over the world. It, is, it was nationalism that brought freedom to the Algerians. It was nationalism that brought freedom to the Nigerians and to the Ghanaians. It was nationalism that brought freedom to the people of Uganda and Tanganyika and Sudan and Somaliland. The Africans didn't get it by sitting in. They didn't get it by wading in. They didn't get it by singing, we shall overcome. They got it through nationalism. And and you and I will get it through nationalism. What is it? What is it that makes it difficult for the philosophy of nationalism to spread among the so-called Negroes? Number one, they think they have a stake in America. They think they have an investment in this country, which we do. We invested 310 years of slave labor, 310 years, every day of which your and my mother and father worked for nothing. Not eight hours a day. There was no union in that day. They worked from sun up until sundown, from can't see in the morning until can't see at night. They never had a day off. And on Sunday, they were allowed to sit down and sing about when they die, they wouldn't be slaves no more. When they die, 
they wouldn't be slaves no more. They'd go up in the sky and every day would be Sunday. That's a shame. And it is that 310 years of slave labor that went in that was my and your contribution into this particular economy and political system. They can give us the back pay. Let's join in. If this is what the Negro wants, let's join in. Let's show him how to struggle. Let's show him how to fight. Let's show him how to bring about a real revolution. Let's make him stop jiving. You don't need a debate. You don't need a filibuster. You need some action.